So today I want to share with you guys how to look at your Facebook settings to make sure that your Facebook, your profile, I'm not talking about pages or groups. I will get into groups in just a little bit, but there's three different things. People like to call their, their group a page, like my team's page. That's not how this goes. You have three different things. You have a profile, and if you're on Facebook, you have a profile. Every single person has a profile. In order to do business, you create a page. However, a page only has less than 2% reach, okay? So it's not feasible, and I know that there's probably trainings in the group that I really want to remove, so there's other valuable content in there, so I'm not gonna remove it, but I wanted to make this updated one. So the main reason for a page, you guys, is for three things. To house your link, like have a button, so that way people can go straight to your website. Second is to collect reviews, okay? So if you can put a QR code on something and somebody can review your review, um, you can post a link to your reviews in your customer group or somewhere, but it's a great place to elicit reviews and showcase what people like, why people love you, right? And then the third reason, which is what I love, is you can put your business page in your employment section, which we'll talk about in a second. So that way you don't want to put that you work at Cincy because when you put your work at Cincy, it's going to take those people, if they click on that, to Cincy's business page. And what happens whenever they click on, you know, Cincy stuff, it's going to take them to Cincy.com. You don't want, you want to keep people in your store. You don't want to send them to Cincy storefront. And then a group for your customers is just where you create community, right? If they're in your group, they give you permission to talk about Cincy because they're your customers. They know what they're getting, like what the group is about. It's a place you would roll the red carpet for them as well. I want to share with you all some settings to look at when it comes to your profile. A lot of this stuff is really best from looking at it from a desktop. So somewhere there should be a little triangle and you're going to want to go to your settings and privacy and we're going to go to first to settings this first section is pretty much all about you right this is where you can change your profile name your email um and then also something too since we were just talking about mark make sure you have something here under memorialization settings so if something happens and you do pass away who do you want to be able to run your profile for you, right? So make sure you set somebody up there. And honestly, you guys, I would click, click on everything, click on everything, but there's not too much here. One thing I do want to point out under username, like mine says Kimberly Polita, sometimes Facebook will just give you, they'll just give you like random letters or numbers, or they'll put like a year, or maybe you chose to have like some random numbers behind. So this right here, this should hopefully be your name, right? So you want to brand yourself. I know we don't talk about personal branding too much, but you want to brand yourself. So this is something to look at here. And this is also how people can message you. You can actually, there's a direct link to Messenger. It's m.me. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Okay. So this link will take people directly to your messenger. So this is going to link up with whatever you have under username. So if you have, you know, Kimberly Polita 5671211357, that's going to be that link as well. So make sure you have it nice and tight. With this one, this is always nice to look at every like week or so, see if other people are logging in from your account and then you can also log out of all sessions and that's always nice if you um, suspect somebody in your account. All right. Um, this is also a good place here under your Facebook information. If for some reason you want to download all of the pictures that you've ever put, all the content you've ever put out there, you can download that here. But this is the big piece right here. So under your activity, this right here where it says public. I know this is going to scare a lot of you, but who can see your future post? And it's not just post. 
you want your profile to be public. Now, I don't want to lose you, okay? So I personally, I don't want a lot of people seeing my kids. Like if I'm just posting pictures of my kids, you can change the settings of each individual post to be friends only or certain people, right? But you want your profile to be public. And if it is set to public, that allows people to follow you, okay? There's a, there's a difference between someone friending you and someone following you. So, let me jump over here. This one is a big one, okay? Who can see your friends list? If you have your friends list open, it is possible that spammy McSpammers will go into your friend list and try to friend your friends and market themselves to your friends. You do not want that, okay? If you have your friends list set to only me, they are only going to be able to see any mutual friends that you have. If you have no mutual friends, it'll just say friends and there'll be nothing there, okay? So I think this is a huge one is who can see your friends list? Only you. And then this all here is just personal preference. I want 100% control over my profile, okay? So I don't, and the only time I edit this, so who can post on your profile? Only me. Now you can have it to be anyone or friends only, and then you can also have, um, you can have it on to where it's like you have to approve before you post it. I don't even want that. <laughs> the only time I turn this off and I put it to friends is on my birthday. That's the only time I change it or like major life events that happen. And then same thing, you're like, who can see what others post on your profile? That's another one, like, I want everyone. So like, if it is my birthday or if like there's like promotions or anything, I want other people to see what's going on. Does that make sense? But yes, so look through all of these, right? Click, click on everything. Click on everything. So here's who can follow me, the public. I want anyone to be able to find me and to follow me. So make sure you look at that. Okay, so let me back up. I wanna show you guys some stuff with groups. So I know I've talked to a couple of you and um, you guys have identified that you haven't, you don't have a customer space. You don't have a group for your customers. And even if you do already, I want to show you some things that you can do in your group to make it more efficient for your customers um, and better for you. I just want to do that. All right. So the first thing that I encourage you to do if you have a group or if you're going to set up a group is look at membership questions. We also have this in the Fragrance Collective, but these membership questions, they will open your eyes and they will also make it really easy for you to connect with people. I want to know who invited them if it wasn't me, right? So if um, it, I'm actually going to test out doing, doing a party in my VIP group, so I'm going to have a host invite her friends into my group. So I want to know which host, if I'm doing multiple ones, I want to be able to, to tie people to others if necessary. Then this one is the big one. So which one fits you best? I'm a huge fan of self-care. If they check that one, that immediately lets me know diffusers and body. I can talk to them about those two things. Um, second one, I spend a lot of time cleaning and doing laundry. So you can kind of guess where that one goes. Um, I'm living that mom life for mamas too. So that's kids and pets. I just want to make my space smell amazing. It could be wall fan diffusers. That could be warmers and wax. And the last one is you can usually find me running the roads more than at home. So that's a lot of the unplugged, the on the go type products. Um, and then the last one, just are you, if you're attending a party, I want them to make sure they look, look at the announcements. So two other things I want to show you guys before I let you guys go. So the first one is going to be units. Now, I just started units a, a week or so ago, but it has, it makes so much sense. So I have one unit for warmers of the month so that we can kind of put them there. 
I have a unit and they're all optional. Make sure you choose optional because you don't want something to have to require to go through a unit just to be in your group. Um, the second one, diffusers and oils. I have a live there to show them how. Clean and laundry, uh, kids and pets, uh, warmers and wax, fans and pods. And then also like this one. So I had a customer share in my group. So I put customer review. So that way people can see that it's not, I think I had another one. Here, customer review. So that way they can see like it's not just mine. And you choose, like, so let me show you this. So it was a customer who posted it. But whenever you go to add it to a unit, you get to create, you get to create this, like the title of it. So that is something else to think about. So then as these people are coming in and you, you start connecting with them and you say, hey, I remember that you chose that you were a mom or that you loved self-care, um, you can actually send them the link to specific ones, right? And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change diffusers and oils. I'm gonna change this to self-care so that way it kind of ties into both of them. But that's something that you can consider doing is units. And then the other thing you can do are, where are my topics? Here, topics. So, as I was doing my sneak peeks, same thing for you guys, I did it in my customer group. So I did sneak peeks, I did top sellers, home decor hacks, um, whatever. I want you guys to think of five things that you can post about in your customer group. So I have mine right here. And yes, they can be yours too, but I definitely encourage you to think, out, think outside of mine because mine not be the best fit for you. So, okay. So mom hacks, nothing since you related mom hacks, right? Cause I have a, my target is moms, um, organizational stuff or decluttering, like how to do that, how to organize different things. Um, just general home decor, just general in general, how to decorate your kitchen table for spring, for the new year, for Valentine's day, right? Just like different types of home decor type stuff. Um, self-care is always a good one. People love self-care stuff. Um, and then this one is Scentsy related scent recipes. So people love to know about mixing recipes. So let me show you. So like today I did a, I did a tip Tuesday. So this is my tip Tuesday. So I talked about packing up for the holidays. Um, here's my routine to set myself up for 21, wash everything, I throw an extra scoop of whiffs, place everything in the bin, add pods or packs, which are scented beads, keep everything smelling good till you open in 2021. Then I said, what pack, what tips do you have? I also, we have a couple minutes. I wanted to kind of talk about this too. I want you guys to think about Facebook as your website. Okay. Facebook is it's your website. So what are you, what does your website look like? Is it inviting? So, and I'm not saying mine is the perfect example, but um, Teresa and I both have the same Facebook coach. I have implemented some of the things that he has shared and I see a completely different profile than I had like a long time ago. So I wanted to share some tips that he shared along. So your cover photo can change really as much as you want it, right? So anytime you change your cover photo, um, you can turn it into a post. So you can update the cover photo and then add some verbiage so that people can start commenting on it. I'm gonna start changing mine every month or so, so that way it just stays fresh. Now your profile picture, your profile picture should be just you. It should be just your face, no family, no kids, no pets. It should be just your face. It's your profile, right? So whenever I get a friend request from somebody and it's an entire family and there's five girls in the picture and I have no idea which girl is the person who's asking me, or I get a friend request from a dog or from a baby, the picture, your profile picture should be you. It should be shoulders up. You should be smiling. And we should see your eyes. So no sunglasses. Next, 
Are you utilizing this space right here? The bio. I do this a little differently than what my what my coach talks about. You want people to look at this and be able to get a really good idea of who you are about. And what he says is, I look in that area and I look to see if we were on a road trip together, could I talk to you about things? So like before I had um, techie, spicy foods, horror movies. Like, so you can get a good idea of me, right? I recently changed it to this because I had some kits. So it kind of goes back and forth between what I got going on. And two, something you can space down so that way it opens that space up. And you guys, white space is life. White space is life. It draws your eyes in. So think about that. And I know this is gonna look different on a phone, but still you get the overall idea. The next section, if you're especially on a phone, is this one over here, the info. I see people who have a ton of stuff here. You have where you used to live, where you are now, what your last 20 jobs were, all of your social media platforms. So I literally have to scroll to get to the rest of your profile. So just put the most pertinent information there. And like I mentioned a minute ago, you can put a business page. So I, I work at the Fragrance Collective. That is my job, right? So when they click here, they will go to the Fragrance Collective business page. And then here's YouTube. This will take them straight to YouTube. And then this is kind of like a link tree where people can, you can put different things. But this is another area that I see people not utilizing to the fullest ability. This is the featured photos section, okay? So you want people to look at this and get an idea of what you're about. This is a great place, and you can also put your family and stuff up in the cover photo. Um, but put your family here, right? So I have family, Cincy, Techie, Cincy, Cincy, Coaching. And then these three are Cincy, right? Whenever you go to edit, it's gonna give you pretty much every picture you've ever posted. It's gonna give you all the albums that you have available. So if you scroll, I'm talking about scroll, 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 scroll. All the way to the very, very bottom, it's gonna give you groups that you admin, pages that you admin, um, events that you have, and you can put those things here. I like to utilize all nine. You don't have to utilize all nine. If you are pushing, if you're doing a like a relaunch party or, um, something like that. You can just have one thing and it can be just that event. When people click on it, it'll take them there. So if I click on this, it'll literally take me to my business page. There's other things like this right here. So a lot of times people don't realize this is your tagged photos. So sometimes you might not realize that people have tagged you in a photo that you probably don't want to be tagged in. And it's right here. You don't see this space on mobile, but you do on a desktop. So just keep that in mind. And all you have to do is just come in here and just click the untag button or just click the untag button. Um, super simple to change that. Okay. That is that. I think that was all I wanted to mention.